ladies of lawn care. I'm just going to introduce you to as many of them as I can find. <laughs> Show them some love when they come in. I'm going to bring in my buddy Joy from Sprucing Up Georgia. Joy, what's up? Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, hey, thank you for being here tonight. Joy, the floor yes. is yours. Tell us a little bit about you and your business. <laughs> All right, well, I'm Joy. I'm the owner of Sprucing Up Georgia. We're located in uh, Georgia, <laughs> hence the name, um, specifically in a in Kennesaw, Georgia, which is probably about 20, 30 minutes, depending on traffic, outside of north of Atlanta. So we pretty much cut grass anywhere from, say, about February on a good, on a good year, occasionally, um, all the way up until now. We're still mowing, so... But um, I'm originally from New York and Georgia has been home for since I think about 2005 or so. So it's, it's home now. Um, started in officially January of 2013. 2013. Okay. Yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about why you got into uh, the lawn care business? Uh, really just happenstance, if that's the word. Is that a word? Uh, <laughs> just kind of happens. Well, we're, we're going to go with the happens thing. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> I actually uh, just kind of fell into my lap, really. I was, well, my department was laid off. Um, I used to work for a nonprofit in the school system. So end of the year, the contract, they didn't renew it. Um, so about 90% of us were um, let go. So it was kind of figuring out, you know, what do you want to do next? So that idea kind of came in. I was like, hey, yeah. let's try it out. Yeah. 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 Is working. <laughs> and the reason I asked you that is because that's a huge difference from lawn maintenance. Yes. <laughs> so how did how did that transition go? How did you was it a, a smooth transition or how did that work? No, <laughs> it was uh, one foot in and one foot out. For if I'm being honest, for a long time, okay. like because it wasn't planned. If you would ask me like, "Hey, Joy, are you going to start a lawn business?" I would have looked at you like you were crazy. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> no, why would I do that? Right. <laughs> it's working out. It took me a while to get to as passionate and excited about it as I am now. Um, I think that you chose a great name for your business. Is there a story behind behind how you chose Sprucing Up Georgia? Um, my theme of today, happenstance. Uh, <laughs> we just um, think actually when we started the business, because I started in January. Mm -hmm. So say I got laid off in June, so I didn't start officially start until January. Um, so starting a lawn business in January, there isn't any grass to cut, particularly when you just started and you have zero customers uh, because we decided to, I decided to, to do the lawns and also clean houses as well. Okay. So sprucing up, I wanted something that represented taking care of both the inside and outside of your home. And what's your radius for your, for your clients? Um, that we, from say where I actually live, I'd say probably about 15 miles. Um, the largest bird. All right. Now, do you, is it just you or do you have employees that work with you? Don't have employees. Uh, my boyfriend is like my number one major helper. Um, in addition to him. So he, for the most part, usually does most of the mowing. When we do go out by us, um, it's usually just me and him. He'll do the majority of the mowing and I'll do like the weed eating and blowing and head trimming and things like that. Um, but on solo days, obviously I'm doing everything. Um, so it just depends. But on like larger jobs that we have a really large um, mulch install, a pine straw, sometimes we'll grab um, a few like regular kids that we use, some of which are in college to help with those. Cause you know, I'm 40, he's 50. So we got a whole bunch of mulch to put down. We'll definitely uh, recruit some younger muscle. <laughs> there you go. Um, definitely. Now I would like to know, I'm sure the audience would like to know as well, um, how, Tell us a little bit about what experiences, challenges that you've had um, as a female lawn care business owner, specifically. Uh, um, for one, like people don't take you seriously. Uh, yeah, they're definitely surprised that it's me, um, especially on like solo days if I'm out by myself. <laughs> like really by yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I've, and I will, I'll be honest, I think I've only seen, like, actually not Instagram or YouTube, but in person, I've only seen probably two women solo the well, whole time. I mean, until I went looking for you guys, 
I hadn't seen very many at all. And I was like, this can't, this, this can't be the reality. I know that there are more out here doing it. And so thus the series that just kind of introduced people, um, to the female people that are out here kind of mm-hmm. getting it done. Yeah. I mean, we just want to be a part of the camaraderie, you know, we, I, I, I most of the girls people, mode too. <laughs> yeah. Right. Girls mode too. <laughs> I know actually the, one of the first slides you put up the yard cleanup, she was like, Oh my God. I had no idea. And that one I did by myself. Mm-hmm. That was a yard cleanup I did on my own, which I usually don't do um, yard cleaners by myself. Um, she was just like, I've had grown men, no offense to the grown men watching. She said, I've had grown men out here that don't work as hard as you just did. So I'm like, yeah, thank you. 